and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, we are going to be uh, training up our beautiful beautiful shiny sporkles oh my gosh i'm so happy as is happy the croconaw my goodness i mean look uh, look at that what a great name happy for our croconaw because he has such a big mouth and he's always smiling so much and he had such a hard first episode where we lost the umbreon and the nidorino and we kind of pidgey and blah but you know what it all worked out because it the, the the Pokemon gods were shining on us and gifted us the shiny Minin, which I have to say, Minin, not not a particularly great Pokemon. Typically, I mean, look at the ability it has. Uh, where is it? Minus, powers up with plus. That is um, an ability, I think, unique to plus soul. So they're basically just supposed to use them in tag battles. And even then, they're not that great. But uh, our... Uh, Sporkles here is obviously amazing. Uh, the way they typically work is that Minin is the more defensive one, Plusle is the more offensive one. So as you can see, we have a high special defense. That's, I guess, I guess that's good. Um, we looked it up. Minin doesn't really learn anything great until about level 19. So that's sort of what we're aiming for. Um, I am the way I think I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous to do it this way. Mm, maybe maybe I'll train up first. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll talk as we as we start the process. I'm just gonna go grass train. Look a Lapras. That's fun. Oh look at those little sparks, the little sparkles that come out of sparkles when we get in a battle. That's amazing. So we're just gonna do some switch training for a while here and get um, sparkles up to up to scratch, as it were. <laughs> Hilarious. 62, yeah, this is gonna, this could take a while as a survivor, yeah. Oh my gosh, I love, that's never gonna get old. So, here's the thing, I will also tell you about the, um, some other, some other rules I have going in the Nuzlocke that are optional rules that you don't have to play with, but which I do. Um, one is called the Duplicate Clause, which is basically a rule that says whenever, like if um, if our first encounter on a new route is something we've already caught, then that doesn't count as the first encounter. And the point of that is, oh, did he just take in sunlight for a solar beam? Not gonna matter. Um, the point of that is so that, oh, Waylord. Like it, when you're doing a regular Nuzlocke, often the point of the Nuzlocke is to have a really diverse team. I think I can, no, I can't. <laughs> like I don't even have any, I was so worried last time they were gonna use Thundershock. I can't actually do damage with Sporkles yet. It doesn't have any damaging moves. So we have to switch train until we learn something. Um, but anyway, often the point of a Nuzlocke is to use Pokemon you've never used before. Look, we leveled up, yay. And to that end, it can be really lame. Like if you, the first three Pokemon maybe you caught were like Pidgey, it's like, oh wait, this isn't the point. This is not at all the point. So it just forces you more variety. I don't think it's gonna be an issue in this particular run because the randomizer will um, mostly prevent it just because it's so random every single time. But in in the event that it happens, uh, it's, it's in place. So duplicate claws. Um, then the other one I use is the shiny claws, which basically just means that if at any point ever we run into a shiny Pokemon, we're allowed to catch it because I'm not gonna let shiny Pokemon go to waste. Now in Sporkle's case, it didn't matter because it was actually also the first Pokemon we ran into on the route. So we didn't even have to like invoke a claws. We were just that lucky with it. I cannot believe the luck I've had on um, Nuzlocke's regarding shiny Pokemon. Like, I, this is, I think, the fourth one we've naturally run into. We've run into our shiny Miltank. We had, I'm looking at my wall of Pokemon here. We had our shiny Gyarados, that one the game provides to you. We had our shiny Dustox, of course, and then I didn't end up using it, but we had a shiny Graveler once upon a time as well. So, and now here we are with a shiny Minin. <laughs> so, just insane luck on, um, our part. This is taking forever, by the way. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe the Pokemon in Viridian uh, Forest would be a little bit higher 
XP yields than in this grass, just because of the, the random nature. Let's see. What can we run into in here? Ah, yes! Okay, see? Snorlax. Way... Uh, I think we're getting more XP from a Snorlax than we would from, like, a Seviper, you'd think. Although it takes more time to kill it. Scratch. Ha-ha! Take that, fool! Now you know what? That's still only 55 XP, so it's not that great. We're gonna water gun this thing so we don't get poison pointed. The other thing we, we can do is just go um, fight those trainers we left over. Look, we're level 9! Fight the trainers we left over on um, Route 3, because they will have stronger Pokemon. My only real... Oh my gosh, we're poisoned. That's annoying. My only real hold up there is if like one of them randomly happens to have a somewhat strong Pokemon that might be able to um, damage Happy like on the switch in, but we're, so, we're such a higher level, I don't think that's going to be an issue. So maybe I'm actually just going to go do that right now, and we'll see where we're at afterwards uh, the other thing I guess we can do I should have done before is in the Nuzlocke I go to you have to set it on battle style set rather than switch this hasn't been a problem yet what this does is that normally when you fight a trainer um, and you knock out one of their Pokemon, the game will prompt you with like, so-and-so is about to send out this. Would you like to switch Pokemon? And you can choose to switch at the same time they switch. And if you do set, it just doesn't offer you that. So they'll just send out their next Pokemon. And if you want to switch, you have to waste a turn doing it rather than them giving the free turn to do it, which is more dangerous because then you're guaranteed to take at least one incoming attack. So that's another, just another fun layer of difficulty we're going to impose upon ourselves. But, um, to me, that feels more real and, you know, more in line with the difficulty. Here we go. Oh, look, a beautifly. God, their beautifly almost looks shiny, but it must not be because it didn't sparkle like our sparkle does. Anyway, not going to matter. Uh, we're going to send out. Oh, it has absorb. Not that it matters because it's so weak as to not matter. Sparkle's gaining some level. Fight, fight. See, we're only really going to get the experience off the very first one because I'm not going to like keep switching in it. Maybe I should, but um, either way, you can see how this goes. Delightfully comfy and easy to wear. <laughs> Umbre oh, oh, how dare you taunt us with your Umbreon, youngster. So this guy's obviously a dark type trainer. Um, we're going to switch, obviously, because we can't do any damage. We could at least Thunder Wave stuff at the very least. That's going to be really helpful as we move forward, having a Thunder Waver so early on. Um, what if I scratch you? Yeah, you got nothing. Um, look at this Umbreon's defense. This is what we could have had. We could have had this highly defensive Pokemon so early on. And so often in a Nuzlocke, you rely on your like tanks so much as like switch-ins and stuff. So what we really want, what we really need is like a bulky, normal type Pokemon that we can like safely lead off with because we just never know what we're going to be up against and they have so few weaknesses. Um, that would be great. Hound, oh, this one, nothing. Water gun, see you later, ombre. Yeah, you did. Yay, happy go to level 23, hooray! Look, we defeated youngster Ben, who's apparently a dark type trainer. I knew it. Here we go. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Oh no, see, this is not good now. This is exactly what we didn't want. Um, they have a Manectric, which hopefully won't do damage. To oh, it has Thunder Wave, too. And oh, and it raised its attack. I don't like that. We're paralyzed, and it has an attack boost, which I don't think matters, at least in terms of electric attacks. These are this gen electric attacks. I think are all special. And so boosting your attack is pointless, but... Um, light, all the same. How? Okay, we're going to have gotten through this. Oh, no, we're... Uh! Okay, it used Tackle, but... Doesn't matter. We made it. Sporkles grew to level 11. If we could learn anything and a Magneton. Oh, gosh. I don't like this one, one, one. This is a very, uh, this is exactly what I was afraid of coming over here. That someone would be an electric trainer. And they were. And we're paralyzed. So, Metal Sound. Our special defense harshly fell. I think we're going to be okay. Metal Sound again. We, we made it through. They didn't use anything dangerous. But you see the, you see the danger. You see that it was there. And that's what I don't like. I'm going to go heal real quick. Ba, ba, ba. Here we go. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Yay. Okay, see you later. And we're going to be back over here. And we're going to fight. I think we have one more we can take down, right? This guy. This guy down here who typically has a pretty nasty Spearow. But uh, who, who knows what I'll have this time. 
Hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Oh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm the worst. I'm the worst. He has an Altaria. Look at that. He has a fully evolved dragon Pokemon. Uh, great. Right here on Route 3. That's fun. Uh, no bigs, though. No bigs. It's probably going to give us lots of experience. We're obviously way... Oh, you sung. Okay. Well, we just have to wait it out. Astonish. That does nothing. Growl. Not great. Still asleep. Growl. Doesn't matter. Water Gun's not affected. Astonish. Okay. It doesn't seem like it has many strong attacks. It's just faster than us, which is annoying. Let's see how Bite does. Oh, it flinched, so at least we can get that going. Oh, Peck. Peck was more damaging. Okay. Youngster Calvin was defeated! Ha-ha! <laughs> You've got nothing on me, Youngster Calvin. You fool. Uh, I'm going to just continue on. I think I can fight this girl as well. Who knows what she's going to have. Eek! Did you touch me? Smeal! Okay, so this shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, looks like maybe we'll get a level two. We have a level 12 then. Ice ball. See, it'd be cool to have like an ice Pokemon this early in the game though. This is this is the other thing, fun thing with the Nuzlocke is that you can get types you would otherwise just not have early on at all. Because like right now we're not really doing that well because obviously we got a regular starter Pokemon and we have a knockoff Pikachu, which you can already catch off in Viridian Forest. So, um, you know, so far the randomizer is not giving us particularly robust, different um, typing, but that's okay. Is this a new route? Are we on a new route? Route four, we are, which means we can catch something in this grass. Oh boy, okay, ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? We should at the very least, part of me wants to lead with Sporkle so we can paralyze whatever it is, but I'm also, a We'll see. We'll see what it is. I'm gonna. We're gonna go to. We're gonna switch to happy just to just to gauge the situation. Let's see what we're gonna run into. Oh, we can catch this. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Here we go. <gasps> ben walked over to see what it was. It's a. Ooh, it's a Roselia. Okay. Okay. This is good. I like this. This is a grass type. We've had good success with Roselias in the past on this channel. The question is, will I kill it with a scratch or should I just try and water gun it, which obviously won't do much damage because it's, well, let's see, because we're such a higher level. Let's just go for it. I'm not really worried that it's gonna knock us out or that that's going to knock it out. Okay, okay, okay. It did about half, which makes me nervous to um, use another one, but we could probably catch it at this point. Oh, we only have three Pokeballs. Why do I keep being the worst about this. Let's go for it. Come on. What? No! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, bad news. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go switch out to Sporkles. Absorb. Okay, that didn't do that much damage. And, oh, you see what it's doing? It's actually get. Well, when did we learn Quick Attack? I didn't even see that happen. Okay, anyway, what we're gonna do is Thunder Wave it. And use absorb, so it's actually getting life back, which isn't. Oh God, a crit! Not that, not that, not that worried. But what it means is we can switch Happy out. Why didn't I think we had more Pokeballs? We can switch Happy back out and Water Gun it again. Aha! Paralyzed and can't move. Okay, so now I'm feeling better about it, about the catch. But man, if we miss another one, I'm just, I just need to go buy more Pokeballs. I'm being so stupid about this. One, two, three. Oh, we got it. Yes. Boom. Amazing. Welcome to the team. Type variety, you guys. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, our last Roselia was named Hamilton. So I feel like I feel like we should keep in theme, but I don't. Uh, ben, give, give me a Hamilton name. Okay. And go what? Mo why Moira? <laughs> oh, 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 Moira Rose. That's hilarious. What is happening? I'm having a weird glitch with my game all of a sudden. Okay, I think that sounds hilarious and I'm totally gonna do it. Um, Moira Rose. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. How do you spell more? O I R A. Moira. It is a male, Roselia. 
It was yeah, it won't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Maybe should it be like Moirin? Would that be <laughs> Moirin? <laughs> to, to add some masculineness to it. <laughs> um Okay, Moirin. There we go. Moirin the Rose. <laughs> After Moira, Moira Rose from Schitt's Creek. Amazing show if you haven't watched it. There we go. Welcome to the team, Moirin. And now we're going to go to the Pokemon Center and heal you up. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Okay, now I'm feeling pretty good. Now we have electric, grass, poison, and water on our side. And we can catch something else when we get into Mountain Moon. Um, the only real downside is that these two are such lower levels than happy. So I do feel like we should do some amount of grinding uh, just so that they're not totally useless. Let's take a quick look at Moirin though and see how he's doing. Heals upon switching out. That's an amazing ability, first of all. And all we have is absorb and growth. So there's that. This would be great in typical Mount Moon situations because we just grind on Geodudes, but we don't know what there's going to be in there. So anyway, in the meantime, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch Moirin out to the front and we're gonna do some grinding right here. We'll see what we got. A Diglet! We could actually probably pretty easily destroy this thing, I would think. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, of course we did. Yeah, how dare you? How dare you, fool? And you want, wow, we're gonna grow quickly. Oh, a Nine Tails. Okay, we're gonna switch out of that. Um, boy, wouldn't that have been an interesting catch if we'd gotten a Nine Tails? We at least do have in. Uh, I guess Moirin is at least evolved, so there's that. That's. That's a nice wrinkle that we have like a somewhat evolved Pokemon. Oh, we have a freaking confused Ray. Classic Ninetales, am I right? Water gun, you're dead. Uh, level six though, geez. Psh. More good level nine, wonderful. And Poison Sting. Okay, so now we can cause poison and paralysis on the team. That is good to know. I think before we go into Mount Moon, I'm gonna try and just grind these guys up to level um, I think maybe like just 15 each. Does that sound good? I think that sounds good. I'm gonna do that real quick and I will join you in a minute. Enjoy the music. Oh, there's a scyther in this grass. That would have been even better. <laughs> oh, but, oh man, that is so frustrating. <laughs> It could have been Scyther. It could have been Scyther. <laughs> All right, we are done grinding. Uh, so let's take a quick look at everyone after the grind. We have uh, Sporkles. Up to level 15, learned a new move. Wait for it, helping hand. So that's terrible. Uh, I don't think there's any double battles in Mount Moon at all. So that's all it does is uh, makes your partner stronger in a doubles battle. Um, Morian, Moirin, sorry, Mo Mo <laughs> Moirin, uh, learned also a new move right there. Stun Spore, hooray. So now we can actually paralyze with Moirin and with Sporkles, which is great. Sporkles, I think, learned Spark at level 19, which uh, will genuinely be helpful because then we'll have a electric type attack on the move on the team that does damage. I'll tell you what was really disheartening about that little grind is perhaps you noticed, but you can catch Scythers in this patch of grass. And oh my gosh, did I was I like, I'm, oh no. And not only that, but I ran into like so many in a row that I think Scyther is actually a common Pokemon in this grass. I only ran into a single other Roselia while training in the grass. So I think our first encounter actually was like the rare encounter for the grass. But in this situation, I would have wanted the, um, <laughs> the very common one, which was Scyther, which is like, oh, man. Uh, so uh, that's the closest we've ever come to having a Scyther on the Nuzlocke, and it would have been amazing, but now it's not. Actually, you know what we're going to do? Hold on. Hold, please. I'm going to go buy Pokeballs because we all know that I, I totally forgot again, so hold on. All 
right, we got Pokeballs. Now we're going to head into Mount Moon, where we'll be able to catch yet another new friend. Let's see. What's it going to be? What's it, You know, I think I'm actually what I'm going to do is switch to Moirin to lead because just more uh, general resistances. We'll see what we come against, but we can also Stun Spore or whatever it is. It will be a nice opening move, I think. Here it is. What are we going to catch? What are we going to catch? Maybe. What could it be? <gasps> a Bagon. Oh my goodness, you guys. That is amazing news. We missed out on the Shellgon, but now we have a Bagon. That is great news. Look at this. Look at this guy, Ben. Oh yeah. All right. So first of all, Stun Spore. There we go. That's wonderful. Oh, yes. I am so excited. And he's using Rage, so that's wonderful. Um, we are going to... Let's just go with... I don't want him to get too strong. Let's just go with Poison's thing and see how that does. Okay. Rage is building. Paralyzed can't move. Ha ha. Too bad for you. Poison's thing again. I think we can go one more. No problem, right? Shouldn't be a big deal. Don't knock it out. No time for a crit. Okay. I feel uncomfortable there. We're paralyzed. He's hurt. We're going to have a dragon on the team, you guys. This is amazing. If we catch it. If we catch it. Pokeball. Go. Go, Pokeball. Ba -ba -da -ba. Maybe I should have done... Oh, no. I didn't get caught. It's paralyzed. Can't move. Okay. 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 We got it. We got it. We have 12 more tries. No big deal. Here we go. Come on. Huh? 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 Oh, no, 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 but okay. We got it. No bigs. We're gonna catch this thing. We will not die. Goodness, this is the problem. Of course, like the catch rate for stuff like this would normally be is a lot high, is a lot lower <sighs> because it's, you know, not intended until you would normally not encounter this until later in the game. So that's the, that's where we're at. Um, that's okay. We still have. 10 more tries. It's just, I'm sure we'll get it between now and then, or I'm going to be back to livid. Two, three, boink, and we did it! Hooray! We got a dragon! That's amazing! Oh, I so badly wanted that shell gone last episode, or at the beginning, but now we have a big on, and that's, oh man, guys, we are, that is Salamence kind of fun. That is big dragon. That is big dragon energy coming our way. Uh, it's still our head can shatter boulders that longingly hopes for wings to grow so it can fly. Oh, we shall give you those wings, my friend. Um, Master Namer, Benjamin, we need a nickname for a female dragon. Dra oh, Dracus. Okay, how do we even spell Dracus? R A C C U S. Yes, Dracus. So, if you're unfamiliar, Dracus is a creature from the Name of the Wind series, written by Patrick Rothfuss, which everyone should read. Um, anyway, so we have Dracus joining the crew. Welcome. Oh my gosh, we got to go to the Pokemon Center just right now. And my goodness, I feel like I should do a quick training sesh for Dracus as well, just to get. Let's take a quick look at it, real quick. Um, oh, it has an item. Item take. Dragon scale. I'm just going to give it right back. Item give. That's actually awesome because it should, I think, increases a dragon type Pokemon maybe holding it. So I'm not actually sure it increases. I think that's like, it helps evolve stuff. Um, anyway, no big deal. What moves does it have besides rage? Because it used that right away. Bite and rage. Let's see if perhaps we can use our lovely TM on it tm case open rock tomb use we are able i'm gonna go ahead and do it why not why not have a rock type move in the fold there we go learn rock tomb that's amazing okay um i think i'm just gonna go ahead and uh yeah try and train up old dracus here as well get her up to speed with the rest of the team and i'll be right back enjoy the music once more Okay, welcome back. We have finished our quick 
uh, third grind up to level 15 in today's episode. Look at Happy sitting like nine levels ahead of everyone, though. Like, we have a, we have a bit of an ace in the hole, and at least we have some type coverage now. Uh, let me give you a quick... I'll show you Dracus's mighty um, new... Prevents recoil damage. Ooh, that's good. So if you get like a move like Double Edge or something, that might be really good for Dracus. Uh, we can see the attack, super high. Uh, special attack, pretty high, but not as good, obviously. How does that stack up? Oh, look at special attack and attack on Happy, just crushing it and special attack for... That's fine, too, because we're electric. And um, so we have a lot of special attackers, but also Dracus to bring in the physical pain. Um, but we've only got really like a uh, rock tomb at the moment to do that. Bite is actually going to be a special attack, attack type move because all dark type attacks are special in this generation because they're weird like that. But whatever. Anyway, we're going to try and get through Mount Moon uh, today. So let's let's do it. Let's go. Let's get into Mount Moon. Let's see what else we might have caught. Oh, there's another bag. Watch the bag on just basically be um, like the... like Zubats of the cave now. Like, is that basically, is that what got subbed out is bag on for a Zubat? Cause that, that would be hilarious. A bullet seed. Okay, hold on. Um, we may as well give that to, uh, Moirin, right? Let's see, is it better than absorb? It's 10 accuracy, 100. So it does 20 damage no matter what. So I guess, Sort of. Um, I'm not sure it's any better than the other attack. Let's just hold off for the moment. Because at the very least, it'll do as much as Absorb, but Absorb will heal us at the same time, so that might actually be better. It'll definitely do at least 20, if not 30, or 40, or 50. Um, oh boy, here we go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Bagons, Zubats have been replaced by Bagons, which I think is hilarious because it's such a common Pokemon being replaced with such a rare Pokemon. Oh, man. I'll tell you, the reason I actually trained outside the cave instead of inside the cave is because part of me was secretly hoping that we would find a shiny Scyther in that grass, that our luck would extend to that stage. Oh, look at the Venomoth. Um, I don't know if I want to fight this thing. Well, level 10, I mean. <laughs> um... But should I fight it with this? This is a poison. I don't want to fight it because I don't want to get poisoned. It's better. Can't escape. Okay. I didn't. I didn't think it was possible, but you know, you never know. And then you know, if we went to a shiny, that's it. You went to a shiny, or shiny, you know, catch shiny side through. That would have been amazing. Moira. Okay. Um. So let's see. We can fight you. Boy, grass types are still a bit of a not like a huge problem. Like the thing is, poison would be good against here, except Bulbasaur is also part poison so what should we use in this situation i guess we could go out to dracus that should be okay I, oh gosh don't, don't don't make it worse for me growl okay let's go bite let's go bite yeah because he's lowering our yeah we got him way to go dracus we got team building so viper so this guy's a poison trainer so, um I'm still feeling okay, pretty okay using Dracus here. Nice first fight, except now we're paralyzed. But I don't like that. We're going to switch out to Happy because I don't want to have to deal with any sort of weird situations. And he's dead. Amazing. Take that, Kent. Let's go ahead and a medicine up. Paralyze. Heal on the old Dracus. There it is. All right. Well done. Well done, team. Oh, we're working well together. What she got? Knocked Owl. Interesting. So this is like where it would be great if we already had Spark on Sporkles, but we don't. So we're gonna switch out to the old Dracus here and launch some Rock Tombs at this thing. Kablam. Oh, super effective, and your speed's down. Fool, and then we miss. That's the problem with Rock Tombs. It's so inaccurate. We've missed twice. There we go. My goodness. Well, maybe we're actually better off biting at this point because we could at least maybe make it flinch. Ugh, come on. You got this, dude. Yeah, there you go. They have really high special defense. That's the thing with um, Knocked Owls. Moira going to 16! And Dracus did not, but that's okay. Let's see. We're going to go... Bit this item? A potion. That's good. And we're just going to keep fighting the trainers, because why not get the experience? Am I right? Natu! Okay, so that's... We definitely don't want to fight that with this. 
we're gonna switch out to, I would say, yeah, Dracus seems like a pretty good option again. Although I'm gonna go happy here just because Nightshade, okay. Has more HP and I didn't know what this thing was gonna launch at us, but we're just gonna bite that and that's gonna be dead. The question is, is he psychic or is he flying? He's, oh no, what a weird problem. I don't know if it has Wonder Guard, let's find out. Destiny Bond, oh no. Uh, no, I don't think so. Clear. Oh my gosh, is it? I'm, I don't know how Destiny Bond works. If I switch, I think that makes it okay. Let's go out to Sporkles. Can't switch! Okay. Oh gosh, Wobbuffet, early game problem. Okay, let's go. Let's go with the, the scratch here. Okay. Okay. Boy, I think Destiny Bond has to go first. So if it goes second, I don't think there's really any. Unless maybe it's like poisoned or something. Boy, that was sneaky. I do not like running into that shadow tag. Oh my gosh, what a what a thing to watch out for. As is, I think I'm gonna use that rare candy. Uh, probably not right now, but soon enough. What a thing to watch out for is also I learned in the grass, if we were to like an electrode or something, we gotta be very aware of Sonic Boom because this early in the game, very dangerous. As is anything that might have Dragon Rage, very dangerous this early in the game. Anyway, let's see what this guy's got. You need to go through this game to get to Cerulean City. Yeah, yes, I'm aware. Ooh, you have fighting types. Okay, um, we should be okay. Let's go absorb. Low kick, you got nothing! Absorb, yeah, we're gonna get all that health back. So, no damage basically at all. Medicham, oh, okay, so you are fighting types. But now you've got... Um, psychic type as well, which I don't like. Meditate, so we're just gonna bite this thing and it's... Oh, it's biting. Oh, that's a dangerous move too. It's gonna die before it gets to unleash energy though, so we should be good. More ends up to 17. Mega Drain, absolutely. Yes, let's delete a move for Mega Drain. See, now I'm glad because Mega Drain is basically just absorb, but twice as good. So we're just going to replace it. Kaboom! Yay. Happy go to level 25. Yay, happy! And yeah, we'll just finish you off real quick with a quick scratch. No problem. Oh, you're trying to focus energy? Nothing. Worthless. <laughs> Punk. Okay, let's switch. I'm going to put Sporkles out front so we can get some extra experience for him. And I'm going to use a potion on Dracus because taking some damage and I don't like that. We're gonna go, oh, okay. look a bag on, oh, we're gonna run. Don't need to fight that thing. Oh, what's this? What's this, what's this? Escape rope, that could be handy. Those are actually more handy than you would think. A Scarmory, boy, that's a fun thing. That must be like the Clefable of the, or the Clefairy of the cave now. Um, I don't think I wanna fight it. Well, I don't know if it's worth fighting because it's just a wild Pokemon and it's not gonna give us that much experience and it might give us, um, oh, what? Okay, you're not gonna fight me? What about you, do you wanna fight? Do you wanna fight? Yeah. Exploud, oh, oh, you look dangerous and big. Let's, but you're a normal type, so we don't really have anything that's gonna be particularly, I'm just gonna bring in Happy to knock this thing out. No reason to get risky. No reason to get risky. We want everyone to be alive and well. That's how you advance, you just play safe. I know, it's not always the most fun. We're gonna drown that cat, no problem. Dumb me out, see you later. What's down here? What's down here? Oh, look, a Larvitar! That would have been a pretty awesome catch, too. That would have been pretty cool. I think we can, uh, I think we can handle this level five Larvitar. Although, frankly, it's amazing to me how much more damage, how, how little damage we're able to do to it, but maybe we'll get a level 47. Come on, come on. Thief! Oh, that's an interesting move. Nice and early on here. Oh, look, a Meryl. That's another interesting thing we could have run into. Um... We'll just bring in Moira in to destroy this thing. Little Mega Drain action, boom, see you later. Sporkles, get your, we'll fight this rocket. Here we go. Hound Doom! <laughs> well, we know just what to do with you, don't we? We're gonna bring in. So the question is, is he fire or is he dark? Uh, we've gotten a lot of dark trainers, I feel like. Not that many fire yet. Sparkles go to 16, boom. And new, so he's a fire trainer, so we're just gonna blast through him with water gun, no problem whatsoever. No problem at all. Now we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go fight this kid. Did you come to explore the cave too? Oh, yes, a Nitto Queen. Oh gosh, this is 
<laughs> these trainers, they've got some serious, um, some seriously evolved Pokemon. It's gonna Mega Drain this thing. Shouldn't be a problem at all. Double kick, nothing. Worthless. Got it. We're almost through the cave already, Muck. So there, there's another poison trainer. We've got a lot of poison trainers early on too, which is crazy to me. Let's see how Mega Drain does. I'm thinking not great. Yeah. But not terrible. We can probably just spam it to death. Oh, it's going Harden. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go Mega Drain again. And we got it. Okay, there we go. Muck down. Oh, he's got another one. A Gulpin. Uh, let's switch out. I think Sporkles can take the Gulpin for some XP. Oh, but we're yawned. Well, whatever. Then we'll just switch out. And we'll, uh, we'll split the XP. It won't be very much, but... Oh, no. I don't like poison. That's very bad. We're going to 18. Yay. Everyone growing nicely. We have an antidote, I believe, because we were worried about Brock, so we actually have a lot of these. That's nice. Oh, a Venomoth. Okay, we're going to run from that. Yep. We don't want to fight more poison things. Skarmory. Not concerned. I want this Moonstone just because you never know. Oh, look, a Paris. Can you imagine if this had been our wild encounter? Because you can already run into Paris in this cave. So that would have been very annoying. Then we're going to grab that. Nice. Moonstone. Then we're going to go fight this guy down here. A Jigglypuff. Again, not concerned with you, but it's a quick attack. Let's just get the... Ex oh, no. What a terrible... Oh, I'm going to fight now just so we wake up, and I'm not really concerned about this thing doing a lot of damage. Immobilized by luck. We are going to... Come on. Ugh. I should have just run once we were awake. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Sparkles. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, we're getting away. That was the most annoying fight. So annoying. Let's see. Where is our, do we have an awakening? We actually don't, which is very frustrating. So here's what we're gonna do. Hey, dude, fight me. Oh, you're just a kid. <laughs> a hound door. Okay, so obviously we're asleep, so we're not gonna fight that thing. Once again, we're either a fire or a dark trainer though. Crawdon. Oh, it's a dark trainer. I was like, wait, what is this? Uh, that's why, that's the situation we're in. Uh, so we're going to go with a scratch here. Man, I feel like uh, Happy has not learned a new move. Oh, maybe he'll get it now. No, I feel like he just hasn't gotten a new move in quite some time here. Anyway, that guy's down. He's dead. He was worthless to us. Uh, let's go down. Oh, something. Okay, I'm just going to try and wake up against this thing. Oh my gosh, I cannot... Why do I... <laughs> The number of status effects Sporkles is attracting is unbelievable. And we don't have a paralyzed heal. Oh, no. That's annoying. Okay, well, whatever. We're going to use our potion on Happy. And then what we're going to do is switch uh, Dracus out to the front so that we're not at risk of losing fights. Oh, a Cascoon! That would have been interesting. Can you imagine if we'd gotten another shiny Dustox? That would have been... Pretty amazing. We'll, we'll knock this thing out just for a good measure. It occurs to me that Dracus could learn Dragon Rage pretty early on. A Sceptile! What? Flow! Good to see you! Um, and if if Dracus learns uh, Dragon Rage real early, that's going to be really good news for us because it is a uh, really overpowered move early in the game. So I'm all, I'm all for it, honestly. I'm not I'm not against it. Oh, he's got Torchic. That thing is going down. We're gonna rock tomb it. See you later. Well, I cannot believe that didn't kill it, but whatever. No big deal. We're gonna be level 16. Yeah. Oh, for a second I thought maybe. May, ooh, he's got Combuskin. Okay, so he's another fire trainer. Suddenly they're popping out of it. Well, no. Either way. How is it that we are doing so little damage with Rock Tomb? Like that should be wrecking these things even less effective my goodness wow okay well just for the sake just just for safety i'm gonna throw in happy because we can obviously just water gun this thing no problem and then it's dead yay okay well done haps well done we're almost out of the cave 
Just a little more to go. Ooh, a Glalie. That would have been very interesting. Actually, I'll say, even as we were grinding, we kept running into the Spheels with Dracus. That was a little nerve-wracking because they can use ice types. And I was like, oh my god, I'm never, I'm not really used to worrying about ice type attacks on my dragon Pokemon this early in the game. That is, of course, exactly the situation we found ourselves in. So, um, we've lost about 20 HP. I'm going to go ahead and just... You got to stay healthy. That's how you win a Nuzlocke. You stay healthy. Here we go. We got to fight this guy. Then we're going to go choose a fossil. So, this actually shouldn't be a big deal. We should just be able to bite this thing. Oh, gosh. What did it just use? Is it trying to focus punch me? I don't like that. Maybe we'll flinch it. Actually, no. If it's if it's focus punching it, then we just keep hitting it. That's the way around that. A machop. Uh, again, shouldn't be a big deal. I'm just gonna bite it. Not very effective. Okay. Well, no bigs. I'll just switch out to someone who will be way more effective. Karate chop. Boom. Water gun. And yeah, Drac is 17. Boom. Headbutt. Yes. Yes, let's get rid of it. So Headbutt does 70 damage. That's amazing. And it may flinch. So now we have Bite. And we're going to get rid of Rage because it's terrible. Headbutt. We're not going to get locked into something like Rage and rely on that for a fight. That is a terrible strategy. So we're going to instead fight this guy. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Oh, God. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Um, we're going to switch. You must be a water type trainer. So we're going to switch out to Moirin and we're just going to, uh, mega drain all of your Pokemon right, right out to death. They're just, they're just so, Ooh, this thing could have ice type attacks, which could be a problem. And we've only got one or only two mega drains left. So that's not the best, but I think we'll still take it down. I'm gonna save my last Mega Drain and just poison sting this thing right there. This is like the last fight in the game. Oh, look, a Feraligator, that's awesome. That's what we will be soon enough. I don't know how you got a level 12 one, but you know, to each their own. We're gonna be a level 19 Moirin. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the Helix Fossil because Obviously, and I'll make sure you see it because I know you'd ask uh, which one I took otherwise, but um, You know what? Go ahead. Ask anyway. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm <laughs> uh, Raise your hand if you got that joke I'm sure a lot of you did if you're big Pokemon YouTube uh, fans But if not, you know, let me know when you figure it out one day you will boom we have made it to the end of Mount Moon we are in Cerulean City. How exciting. Roar. Psh, not going to use that. Uh, which means next episode, we are going to take on our rival, Nugget Bridge and Misty. It's going to be awesome. We have our wonderful team ready to go. Here they are so far. Moirin, Happy, Sporkles, and Dracus. What an awesome start to the lineup. Uh, thanks so much for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a comment uh, if you haven't already. Uh, that's how we will be nicknaming Pokemon uh, going forward. Uh, if you haven't hit that like button, do that and subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. But until next time, bye!